oh, the Constitution is a white man's Constitution. Yeah, it's a quite radical sentiment. Sure, it's, it's a radical sentiment, but it's it's protected by the First Amendment. No, no, no doubt. It's something I, I, that you and I will agree on. Right. Yeah, he has a right to say it. Right. And but also, my opinion would be we as conservatives need to signal where that radical ideology is present. And I don't understand these professors. We're not misquoting them. Yeah. No, oh, I, I understand all this that. Stuff is, we're just making But would more you agree famous. that it's taken out of context, though? But that's not my fault if someone takes something out of context. But so you're, if I you're says your sweatshirt is red, it's not, my, it's not anyone's fault except the interpreters. Sure, but you're providing this platform to, for people to spread this misinformation. Right? Not necessarily. You don't think it's a platform? What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. College students finds it unsettling. Charlie Kirk exposes woke college professors. This is going to be amazing, guys. I'll always check this video out together. You know how it is, guys. Talk less, then we ask more. Personally, I'm someone that really values free speech, right? And like an uninhibited engagement among people yes. that disagree. And it's really unsettling to me that you have this website, professorwatchlist.org, right? Yep. That basically tells conservative students that, hey, these professors are very liberal uh, and you should avoid them. It doesn't say avoid them. Uh, the official statement I read said it's just to expose. Okay, fine, expose. But even in that, I feel like that colors thought so that it really teaches conservative people. Do, that do, you, think, people do you think when a professor says something like the hurricane victims of Houston deserve to die because they supported Trump, do you think that professor oh. should be called out for that? I, th I think, yes, it's important to call them out, but I don't think so it's... So that's what our project does. Oh, I understand what you're intending to do, mm -hmm. right? But how it's received is it's something where it's really, you're coloring their speech to where it's not free speech. No, but you're we're not saying, what to do it's not anything. Professor Blacklist or Professor Hitlist. But we're not saying they should shut up or be fired. But for example, so this one uh, professor, I think his name was Alberto Ponce. Okay. Uh, I was reading the list and it said that he was, ex or basically he was saying these things and he was saying that, oh, the Constitution is a white man's Constitution. Right? Yeah, it's a quite radical sentiment. Sure. It, it's a radical sentiment, but it's it's protected by the First Amendment. No, no, no doubt. It's something I, that I, you and I will agree on. Right? Yeah, he has a right to say it. Mm, right. And but also, my opinion would be we as conservatives need to signal where that radical ideology is present. And I don't understand these professors, we're not misquoting them. Yeah. No, oh, I, all, I understand all this that. Stuff is, we're just making but them more famous. But would you agree that it's taken out of context, though? But that's not my fault if someone takes something out of context. But so you're, if I you're says your sweatshirt is red, it's not, my, it's not anyone's fault except the interpreters. Mm -hmm. Sure, but you're providing this platform to, for people to spread this misinformation. Not necessarily. You don't think it's a platform where people can spread in misinformation? You can say the same thing about the internet or Twitter or Facebook. Well, it's not course. incumbent on the person who creates the platform to be responsible for how people interpret it. Of course, but a lot of times when there are people kind of discussing this thing and the, they hold a similar view, then it creates something that's akin to blacklist. At least that's how I feel. Okay. That it's, it's a lot like, or the sentiment reminds me of something like McCarthyism. Okay, so, you're let, creating this list of people. Well, okay, so first of all, McCarthy never published his list. Sure. So we, we have a list and we're very public about it. Yeah. Secondly, M McCarthy called for the termination of people. We've never called for any termination of any yeah. professors. Yeah, but would you agree that you can incite some degree of violence not, against them? No, not system. necessarily, no, none whatsoever. I mean, the same would be said if a news reporter, by the way, all these professors we have on there were reported on by other news outlets. Yeah. So, so yeah, we cited sure. all. Yeah, I understand. So why not, why not be mad at Huffington Post for all their articles they write about? I guess person. my main question to you uh, is basically with all this, right? Mm -hmm. My feeling is that it inhibits this free engagement because it tells people beforehand that, hey, this is what that person believes. I, so how I would you, disagree. I think it encourages more speech. Me ask. All right, so my question is how can you guarantee that this is not going to inhibit free speech? You can never guarantee it. But it's, we're using our right to free speech to, to encourage more speech. Are you encouraging more speech of or are you course. silencing that speech? How, how are we silencing it? You're silencing it in the sense that you're telling students that, no, hey, this person has this preconceived notion, right? So you're giving students this idea that, hey, this professor thinks these things, he believes these things. So then, so then when they take that them. class, when they take that class, they're not going to go into it with this open mind being these free thinkers. They're going to go into it thinking, hey, this professor has this ideal. I should know that when I go what's wrong with that? I think the thing that's wrong with that is... Maybe they're more aware. That's literally antithetical to free speech, would no, you say? No, it's not. I think it's important to engage with someone and rationalize their ideas. Of course. Instead yeah. of viewing them beforehand. So, if, so when a professor says something like the hurricane comment, which is a real something <laughs> in the United States, sure. press said or from University of Houston, or when the Georgetown law professor a couple weeks ago yeah. said, you know, we want Brett Kavanaugh's family to die. 
they should, should be made famous when they say stuff like that. I don't think they should be made famous, because <laughs> really? then you're inciting violence against no, them. You're inciting, you inciting violence? You're inciting this it's negative like, sentiment. It's like saying a newspaper them, right? incites violence when they cover a, anything. But would you agree with me in saying there's a significant difference between a newspaper that's a public outlet and something like TPUSA and no, something like this, where you have a bunch of like-minded news articles, articles, right? So, I don't know. I, my feeling is just that it creates this environment where speech is not equal. I appreciate the sentiment. Yeah. And, you're sort of stuff. Yeah. and uh, yeah, I appreciate you coming here. And uh, yeah, it was nice talking to you. You too, man. Thank you. Calling down some professors. Some professors, they are um, neighbors, and also some of them are from the left, and some of them, they use some hurtful words against conservatives and people who believe in the right. So challenging them and calling them out, and you able to identify them is a good thing. Such professor, like one who talked about the Hurricane victim who supported Trump in Houston deserves to die. We have to call them out. We have to expose them. Charlie Kirk is not saying hate them. He says expose them. Like bring them out to the light so people will know who such professors are and they will be able to be careful of them. We have to expose them. Bring them out to the light because some of them are very corny. You understand? They are very, very, very common, some of these professors. So you have to expose them out. He didn't say you should hate them. He didn't say you should have bad blood for them. Expose them out. Bring them out to the light. This student right here, he's brainwashed, and he just don't want to see the truth part. He, maybe he have no experience, a professor, a hostile professor like that, who wish hurricane victims that they deserve death because they support Trump. He have no experience such professors before. That is why he's talking... In such a, such a manner, but such professor, we have to expose them. We have to bring them out to the light, so people will know who they really are, and also be careful of them. It's very very important to you, for you to know who you are dealing with. Very very important. Comment down below. What you think about this video? I I loved the entire video. I love how Charlie was very very precise, and he wasn't trying to like convince the guy. He just wants him to. Charlie was just setting fat and telling him the pure obvious truth. But the student, I feel like he's brainwashed. Um, subscribe to China, give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as can. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't know papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales all over.